if you want to make a class that's very very strong in classic and has a very very easy route then this is the class for you it's the mage I'm gonna start with worst to first and let's talk about it and then we're gonna create a character so worst on the list are the good old humans yep that's right the stats are not so great and they're significantly less at 110 intelligence compared to all other uh, races so this has a great starting area and people will say well you get to 200 intelligence yeah but that's maybe later on the game and by that time everybody else is rocking 220 intelligence you're still maybe at 180 and for mages intelligence is everything it governs how much mana you're gonna have of course you have good stamina and agility and all that but that's only useful really early in the game like for the first five levels let's go ahead and take a look at the next two three we have the gnome we have the dark elf and have the verudite once again this is really 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 hard the gnome would seem to be number three but in reality since it has noma vision and you can see through the walls in third person view by swinging the camera or by going first person view and looking straight into the wall face the wall face plant the wall these are huge because these abilities allow you to target by manually typing the tar the name of the mob and sending your pet out to get him and that's huge huge so the gnome has that right from the get-go from the beginning and that I think is really big otherwise it'd be a clear third place but take a look at the stats a stamina 85 intelligence 133 agility 85 and let's compare that to the good old dark elf 134 80 90 you know they're kind of all the same they're so close what's the real difference so gnome and a dark elf I would put them on the same plane but and you got the rudite the rudite looks great you know it looks just fantastic but the negative with the rudite is as has been mentioned to me you want to put five into agility you can do this if you, if you want to or you can just keep it with stamina and and not worry about it because later on you'll get items that will grant agility and get that up to 75 what this is will do is it'll give you a little bit less hit points which is not going to matter because with the mage it's all about the pet that's simply it it's the pet um you have some nukes which are great and all that but you only have fire and magic nukes so that limits you in some ways because you're going to run into mobs that are resistant to magic and fire at some point especially raiding i'll talk about that in a few moments but since you're a mage and you're starting early and this guide is for if you're starting really early on a server where there's no gear out there and it's just one big race and everybody's playing naked to 50 you got to go with the rudite because 142 intelligence over 134 is significant you'll be way over 200 intelligence or you'll hit 200 intelligence before everybody else will and when it comes down to it late in the game uh, later in the game when you're in higher levels you need every bit of intelligence you can you don't want to be running out of mana and I'm gonna tell you it's difference I've seen human mages before actually I made one because I thought they looked cool and then I saw this erudite uh, one and you know it's a difference like I could get you know a certain amount of nukes let's say five nukes off he could get six now that's pretty big right there I would do anything to pay for an extra uh, nuke and if you count the intelligence if somebody said to you well I got a item that gives you nine intelligence or eight intelligence it's called the glowing black stone um, you know how much would you pay for it people will be paying a chrono for that thing but you know you got it right here just take the rudite and you're gonna have that which is worth a, something like a glowing black stone it's that big okay so let's talk about what's wrong with this character what's wrong is it starts out in the sticks and that's way out in um, Eridan uh, Toxulia forest it's way the heck out there you're way away from everything and it's gonna be a while before you get in with the action so this is a, a classic and solo so it's not that big of a deal for y'all if you don't mind fighting out in Toxulia and in those areas going to Blackborough and going to Everfrost then it's okay it's for you uh, you're all good but I'm gonna tell you all the actions gonna be in the common lands I ran around that area because that's where all the trading goes and if there's something in auction that you want and you're on your character right here and they're selling it over there on the other side of the world the only way you're gonna get the item is you're gonna have to log out you're gonna log in your mule which is over in the common lands and you'll have to transfer uh, money over via parcel and then you gotta go buy it it really adds 
a lot of uh, delay and if you want something you see a good deal so all the best deals are uh, handled out there so if you have a character that's already there in the common lands tunnel and you're fighting over there and you want it you just run back to your soul the soul binder or gate back there and you buy the item right there you'll get a lot better deal so it depends on how you want to play it if you don't care about buying anything you just want to level your guy fine you'll be good out in toxulia forest if you want to take part in the, uh, the growing booming economy then uh, get your character out there or create another character that's closer to the action okay so let's go ahead and start we're going to start in Arudin. we're going to be agnostic and here we go let's see here We're going to name him Hot Dogger because he's a brother of Hot Dog who did the um, Arudin to Freeport run. Let's see. We've got Arudin Palace. Here we go. Okay, we're all good. Okay, so now we've uh, made it here and you can tell you're not part of the family because your outfit is not matching. So first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and get with the program and get uh, your clothes to match. Yep, you're with the family and your friends right there. Yes, yes. And you'll notice that the magicians wear this color and that. Now this is your guild master up here. When it comes to spells, I mean skills, I would not even spend any of your points in the skills yet wait till much later and you can use them for specialization or if you want to do spell research or whatever but your skills are going to level up so fast and the reason why is because you have 142 intelligence that means they're going to go up real fast you hardly have to train anything up and it's going to go real quick okay so now the the next problem is is getting out of here let's go ahead and put the map up and go like this here we're going to enlarge the map so you get an idea of where we're at and uh, this is how it goes now we're going to set the height filter I mean take the labels off here so you can kind of see where we are if the labels it's too confusing I'm going to show you how to get out of here show you where the parcel vendor is and what to do now you'll notice right away with our spells we don't have a pet spell so you don't get the first pet until level two so in the beginning it's mano a mano that means you're going to fight to the death and fire your baby nuke off and this is your baby nuke it does only this amount of damage it only does three to five damage it's a one to one ratio but that's okay because you have over here you have 29 30 mana so you could fire about seven eight of these off um eight times four is 32 damage you'll be able to kill something with your steak knife you'll be able to do about 50 damage total so let's first of all let's go by the way, you can uh, use the find here if you want to find things like the banker, if you want to par find a parcel vendor. and uh, But I'm going to show you how to do it without doing it. That's the easy way. You have no problem doing that. First thing you want to do is you want to go downstairs, hit the wall, face plant the wall. There's more, another vendor. He sells higher level spells. This is the area you want to go to, this area the uh, person sells your spells you'll notice they're all sitting around here go with this nice lady and there are your spells I sort like this this way I know which ones to buy the uh, ones you're gonna have to which you want to buy are you want to buy these ones uh, right here you want to buy the water pet element an amount of water fire pet you want to buy all the pets now the way it goes is that your first round of pets they're all basically the same uh, you're going to see they should come out yellow con to us. And the air pet is nice. It has a nice stun to it. The water pet does the most damage but has the least amount of hit points. Earth pet has the most hit points but it does a little bit less damage. The water pet is nice because it has a nice backstab. It is a rogue. So that's going to be real nice. It's going to do some good damage. Okay, so let's continue to go down. Because why? We're pobre. We don't have any money. We can't buy anything. And plus, even if we could, we can't do anything with it so we're gonna go out here and this is where it gets really really confusing you have that place on that side that on another so let's go this is just general spells oh let me talk about him real quick so general spells you'll notice he spells sells spells that are usable by all classes that are casters he sells gate lesser shield you see invisibility you get it at level eight so if you're tired of this place it's gonna be a while before you get out here unless you want to brave it 
and do it like my video on how to go from Rudin to Freeport, then you don't need any of that. You just need to love the risk and the high reward for that run. Okay, so let's go down here. Let's get uh, take a little bath and whoops and go here. And this is the first level. Just remember you went down two levels. Keep on going down to here. And you'll see this area here. This area over there, shoot, it's hard to see, is the portal pad right there. You hit on that portal pad and you'll be ported to another part, but we're not going there right now. First things first, I want to show you the parcel vendor. And you're going to go down. You have to kind of keep a mental note. You're going down and you're going over here. This is the underground area. You've got the bank over there. I want to show you the bank. Uh, satchels, I mean, this is uh, they sell satchels and stuff. So you got a vendor over there and the gems over there. This guy here, this is the bank, excuse me, it's right here, is your parcel vendor. Okay, so this the way this works, you could have a mule somewhere else. And the mule can say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, send you some money. That's right. And look at this. This money just landed right here. And uh, Chichingo, I have nine plat right now. And that's what's good about it. You can have another character, some your other character elsewhere sending you money. And it works the other way too. For example, if you have a mage that's out there, maybe this mage is level 12 or something like that, and you have a, a mule back here, like this guy, Hot Dogger, he can go ahead and use the parcel vendor and send money out to you. It's very handy to uh, do because you don't have to come back to the town. In the old days, before they had the parcel vendor, you had to manually go back and it created a lot of um, downtime for going back to your town and all. But now you just get a, a meal and run them back there. Okay, so now that we're back to here, you remember the, the flying saucer pad right here? The one on the top is when you come back in, the one in the bottom is when you go on out. And you can see, should be able to see where we are, where we've been here. And if you set the height filter, just keep it like this. It's just try to keep a mental note. If you look at this map, it's really just a big spider web. Watch. If we normally do height filter, but if you do this, it gets real confusing because you're like, well, where am I? So for best results, just try to get to know the place. You know, you got three floors up from here, and this is and you got one floor down from here. And this is like the middle floor here with the pads on it. This is what you want. So you just get on this. And you're going to go and you're going to be teleported to Arudin. Right now you're in the palace. And we have landed. Okay, so this is it. You'll notice it. It looks a little darker than normal. That's because Arudites are blind as a bat. That's right. So this is a, the way to come back. This is the way you came out. If you notice, it says, Welcome to the city of Arudin. That pad up there is the way to get back in straight up there we're going to use that in a moment but right now let's go ahead and go out here you can see on the map we're going to head out there and slay some uh newbie mobs and this is a fun part point of the game because you know you don't have to worry about too much and it's very casual now a note about the mage is they're great in groups really good but what i've seen at the high level uh, in the raiding scene it can be a problem because as you know they only have fire and magic nukes most raids I think they're okay but then there's one raid that you're gonna probably be doing a lot which is Nagafin's lair Lord Nagafin and if you fight that raid you're gonna be next to useless because he's resistant to magic and he's resistant to fire for sure he's immune to fire so you're not gonna land a whole lot if anything and the way mitigation of mighty is well known as mighty buff on the pet it transfers all the aggro to you so you're not like a necro you can't feign death or like an enchanter who can memory blur or anything like that basically you get all the aggro the pet does so the pet gets on the aggro list you're gonna get it and you're gonna get nailed right there and um, you have to really be careful about the pet pulling aggro and getting your killed so mages really really are shafted on that raid but other ones like Finigel, uh, Lady Vox um, Playing a hate, playing a fear, you're going to be okay over there. So keep that in mind. If you want to do some raiding and you want to be top in the DPS charts, make a necro. <laughs> that in classic, the necro is going to really, really uh, be top in the charts out there, the big time. Wizard also will be doing great too, because they can hit with all sorts of uh, different spells. 
So that's one thing to th think about. But if you're just going to want to be a part of groups and stuff, and you want to be a very strong character, this is the one for you. So now that we're up here and you have this area down here, let me just show you what it is. You see down there, it's way down there. You may kill yourself if you jump off. I haven't tried it, but let's use the pad. Okay, so the pad brings us down here. And there's the other pad. We're going to head out to the forest. And good thing we have bonus experience. We don't have to kill too many, probably four mobs before we level. Once we level, we'll come back. We'll get the pet. And uh, we'll show you how that works. Now out here, there's going to be a lot more mobs. These are two guards right here. There are going to be a lot more right now. This isn't the TLP server, so there aren't as many mobs out there. Therefore, um, you're going to have to just make do with what you've got. So let's take a look here. Looks like we got some kind of skunk. I think he's probably one of the tougher ones. Be careful of the skunk because the skunk will put something on you that will make you stink as usual. Okay, there's a fire beetle. Let's see if we can take him. Uh, first, put your uh, shield up. You're going to need the shield. Good. Let's get um, do this. Take your settings here. Set auto split so we're in your group. Set this. These here so you can uh, go ahead and drag corpses if necessary. Let's keep this map up here. You can see there's not a lot on the map. You can set the labels. You can see where everything is. Okay, let's nail this guy. And this is a nice, see how fast the nuke fires. And then just uh, melee attack him. Chat, slash chat font size 5 and you have a um, bigger text. Now what I would do is just melee him, get your melee skills up, wait for him to start running before you nuke him. In this case he is dead, so this is just a quest for the Kobold Skull. So let's take a look at the experience. We got 25%. Let's go ahead and kill three more. Let's get leveled up. What's this up here? He's a quest mob. Also over here in this room you have uh, this guy. He's a vendor so it's nice and handy. He'll go ahead and sell you stuff there. Decayed Skeleton. These are high priority. Get them because they have the almighty cracked staff which sells for one platinum. And you're a mage, so you can go ahead and fire at a distance. This is very, very key. There we go. And... And just mow him down. This guy won't run away or anything, so... You want to get more than 50% uh, damage on him so that people don't kill steal him. So there you go. Now you got 50%. So people won't kill steal him. You can just go mono mono with him. Let's speed it up because your combat isn't so great. And he is a challenge. Look at that. Check it out. He's resisting the stuff. Can't believe it. Okay, come on, take him out. And one more. You want to kill these? Oh, we're out of mana. And we got him. And he didn't drop anything, but there we go. We need a couple more spells. So you're going to have to med up for a while. Uh, it's always safe to... Threatening. Yeah, watch out for this guy here. He's a poacher. These guys are level two. You're not re you're not ready for that yet. Uh, you need to have full mana and a little bit more. It's your nuke doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Let's take a look at what it does here. So it does three to five damage. You're noticing that if you do it, it's you're doing three damage. So you have you can seven or eight of them. So you can do 21 damage, 25 damage total with this nuke. And that's in addition to your melee. You see your melee zoning hitting for one, five, you're hitting a few times uh, this way. So you don't do a lot of damage. When you get the pet up, you're going to see a different, uh, totally different story. So let's go ahead and try to knock some things out. Let's try to get the kobold. He's easy. And the mobs here are not KOS2 at this level. Just watch out for the poacher. I'm going to fire two shots at him, then I'm going to melee him, and when he runs, then we're going to go for it. Yeah, see, there you go. He's pretty weak. This is more like it. Bounce. Your regeneration is regenerating. Come on, die. 
there we go. Uh, some of these things you want to take um, so that you can go ahead and sell them and get more money. And if you're going to take on a yellow con mob, the yellow colored one, it's advisable to have more mana. See, they came a little close last time. Let's just pick this guy off here. We want to see if he's got something. I'm going to try to run him back so the poacher doesn't get me. There we go. Let's fight him now. We don't have a whole lot of mana. And he hits uh, hard compared to us, but they should be, we should be able to get him. I'm going to show you what happens if it goes wrong. As it just may, let's go ahead and start to burn him before he burns us. Look at his, his regeneration, that's not good. Let's pop this map up. Come on, die. Got him. And so, one more kill, and we're going to be in good shape. So, there will be a lot more newbie mobs around here, so you don't have to go too far out there. When you see a mob that's threatening, like the poacher, it means that he will attack you while you're medding like this. And this isn't a great area because it's number one, it's dark, there's lots of trees, stuff's going to get stuck behind the trees. There's another decayed skeleton if I get the full mana. We'll go ahead and take him. And let's see this infected rat. Always con for the, the level, he's level two. If we get full mana, we probably will be able to take him. And all it takes is one more kill. By the way, if you need to, the kobold parts are part of a quest. You can do one of the quests for it. Okay, we're almost ready. Look for something easy. We just need to get level 2. Once you get to level 2, everything changes. There's our victim right there. Kabold Runt, you want these guys? Come here. And hit him twice. Let's fight him. There we go. So this is... Uh, These are also part of a quest, so you can't sell them because they're no drop. Let's go down here. We have hit level two, so this is great. Time to go back. I'm going to show you how to go back and get your spell. So now this guy here, you can sell stuff to. So let's take a look at what you can sell for. Four silver, that's good. And you can sell this for five silver. This is good. You can sell nine silver, so you're making some money right here. You also have an extra bag in the uh, bank, so you can go back and get that too if you need a bag so I wouldn't buy it don't buy any bags early on of course unless you want the 40 slot bag then go ahead and buy that from the marketplace and you're gonna be all set you don't ever have to buy anything so let's go back in here I'm gonna show you how to do this and then after that I'm gonna show you just how awesome the uh, pet is you will need to get a malachite that's a reagent for the pet so you need to save up your money and that's why money is going to be important here. So we went over that pad. You see this? Just remember the pad. And let's go this way. There should be a jeweler downstairs that you can buy the malachite from. And you can also buy it from the guys up by your spell vendor. Okay, around the corner we go. And let's zoom in on this so you can take off the filter labels here. You can see where we're going. And this is it, round and round. There will be lots of people here. Good luck on zoning. Hope the zone doesn't crash. Let's talk a little bit about the two portals. The one portal over here brings you out to the docks. This one right here to the east. If you're going to go to Kinos, make sure you pick up the mail quest from this guy, Lorestring. If you're curious about that quest and you want to make a lot of money early on, Check out my video, How to Get Rich on a Classic Server, first quest you can do when starting new on Classic. Go on to this one, the little pad, and this will zone you into Rudin. And now that you're in, you may remember this area. And I want to point out, see this, remember this pad below and above? That's what it is. And remember, we have the jewel crafter downstairs that will sell 
the jewels. So this is upstairs area right here. So let's go up. You go across the way, you go up, and uh, you're here. Now you need to go up again. Let's go across here. I always run through here. Tower of the Gate Callers, okay. That's where you're going, remember the sign. And up you go, and guess who's here? We're back to this lady here. Let's go ahead and buy the things we want. We want to get, um, most important, a water pit. So you buy your water pit first. Remember, if you get all this stuff taken care of early, you get a little money on this character by running the uh, newbie quest from Rudin to Freeport. You run that, which takes only three minutes each run. You can get enough gold on one run to finance this guy. Then he can buy the spells in advance and just stay out there in the field because running back here can take you 10 minutes. So you can look at that way if you're in a rush to get started. So we have lots of uh, money left. This thing only costs um, a little bit. Uh, I want to go ahead and show you. Some people buy this spell, and I'm going to show you that why you don't really want to buy it, why it's a waste. Okay, so you got your water. This, these other ones like reclaim energy, get energy back from your pet. Not a big deal. You don't need the drink or the food yet. Save your money. The dagger. Yes, you can get the dagger. These are magic weapons, and you can go ahead and uh, use these. Some people will need them to kill will o -Wisps. And after that, let's go ahead and get the fire. Sense summoned is just to raise a skill, basically, and your air pet and all. So you don't get a good nuke until level 4, which is called burn, and it does a little more damage. But what the heck, you're going to let the pet destroy everything. Let's go ahead and mem these spells. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this. Let's put this up here first. Summon Dagger, we're going to put that in here. That's one way you can do it. You can also get other spells on your spell bar by going like this. Find an empty slot, right click the, the slot, select pet for example, and this is a water pet like this. And this will load this water pet spell in. Uh, there it goes there it goes so there it goes there's a little lag on the server so it what you saw right there was a little lag where I got it in there and it didn't register what may happen on new server on day one is there's so much lag that you try to mem a spell and nothing happens if that happens just be patient and just wait but you can see right here it's doing okay let's go ahead and uh, right click to remove that and let's go ahead and put fire flux i'm going to compare fire flux to your other one called burst of flame here so you can see what the uh difference is okay this is another way to do it let's put this in here you can see what our hit points are uh see how much mana we have look at that 60 mana that's a lot of mana a lot okay so first things first you cannot cast this because you need a malachite uh, to go ahead and cast that let's go ahead and bring this up the reason why you're fizzling is because you need to train your skill up see channeling is going up those are important here so this is going to bring up a dagger and uh, this will increase your conjuration skill let me take a show you what the dagger looks like this dagger is not bad it's like a regular dagger, but the one thing about it is it's magical, and magical daggers are really good. Like I said, if you want to fight ghouls, some creatures can only be or can only respond to uh, magic damage. Okay, so let's take a look up here. Talk about this here. You got another uh, magician supplies. Okay, this one will have your malachite. This is for making uh, your spells, and let's go ahead and point out this look at this I want to show you something here you could pay two platinum for a dagger a regular dagger but look at your dagger it's almost the same as that and yours is magical this other one isn't even magical of course yours is temporary meaning you log out and it's lost but you can see how much this can really help so if you have a warrior in, in your group or a ranger or whatever any of these that need a magical dagger by all means put that on. Let's compare it to the one you got right here. 
your magical dagger is even better than the dagger you have. So definitely want to uh, replace that. Let's go ahead and get just 10 of these. Okay, so you can see right away the mage is very useful because let's destroy this dagger. We're going to use this dagger now. This one is even better than ours. Notice the delay is lower. The lower delay meaning faster the weapon. So you already got a, a faster weapon uh, just by that one spell. So now that we've got this all set up and we're just about ready to go, let's head back out there. Uh, okay, we're going to go down and around. Then we're going to make a, a pet. If we get out there, if you're tired of running around, doing the run around, you can go ahead and um, do this. And he'll help you get down to Tox to the forest a lot quicker. See, notice there, you're out in Tox. So this is a lot quicker instead of running around. You just go out there and in the modern game, you don't lose anything on your corpses and below um, level six, you don't lose experience. So level five and lower, you're gonna be okay. And guess what? We're out here, we saved ourselves a lot of time. And look at that, we got everything going for us. Now we can go ahead and create a pet. And here comes our pet. So what you wanna do, make that pet here. I'm gonna put him down on the bar here. So he fits down here, just like that. Next thing you wanna do is I want to hold down the left button make a key and put them right there so it's going to go pet attack then i'm going to melee attack okay so next thing you want to do is let's make some uh daggers that's you can weaponize them and let's give him this here there we go we've weaponized him that's also nice now he will dual wield he'll even be uh, even scarier to the bad guys and give ourselves a weapon Check his level, notice this, level five. <laughs> and in the old days, it wasn't like this. Uh, good old days, you you had to upgrade each level, but yeah, level five pet, guess what? He's just gonna destroy everything. Poacher, we're gonna vaporize a poacher with this pet. So if you like starting out with a pet like that's crazy like this, you can see mages are gonna have an awesome, awesome start. Just let the pet steamroll everything. So let's go ahead and put it like this. Let's arrange the setup here go like this put this here and that there and that goes there let's go ahead and enlarge the window and you can go ahead and uh, set up a new tab and let's go ahead and set up um, we know what the spell damages are let's just go ahead and put up the spells so let's talk about this new spell you've got you've got burst of flame and you've got this other one called Fire Flux. Fire Flux is a point blank area of effect, but I wanna show you just how bad the spell is. You need to spend 23 mana, which is a lot of mana, to do nine and 12 damage. And look at the spell before it, uh, Burst of Flame. You spend four mana to do four and five damage. So you can it's clear to see that uh, Fire Flux wastes a lot of mana. Of course, you have a lot of mobs on you, that's great, but this is one I would not use uh, at all unless you are just dying and you need to fire this off to kill one mob you can go ahead and do it but it's not recommended you're rarely going to ever use that for now on it's just going to be pet kill everything now there is a button on here called taunt and what taunt will do is it'll try to gain the attention of the mob so the mob will stop hitting you you can switch this on and off to switch back and forth in the early game i'd recommend using the pet as damage dps and you just um, trying to get your melee skills up because this is a good time to get melee skills like defense up and offense because you're going to be meleeing for a while and to take a little aggro off the pet and also building defense in your character let's go over this will what it will do and why it's important is because it'll change your armor class here your armor class is 11 our defense only five or ten you'll notice when the defense goes up the armor class will go armor class meaning there's two numbers here. There's an evasion number on the right and there's a mitigation number. So evasion means um, whatever how it fits in the equation, the higher this number, that means more chance you have of evading or the enemy missing you. The other number is if they hit you, how much less damage you're gonna hit you with. If this number is high on the left, 
That means they're going to hit you, but they're going to do minimum damage, let's say. So both are important. Invasion is very, very important. I would say even more important than the AC because you're going to, when you get hit with this character, um, there's no way you're going to get the AC number, the left number up very high. So you're going to, when you get hit, it's just going to hit like a Mack truck. Okay, let's go out and let's tear some stuff up. Okay, Mr. Poacher, we're not afraid of you. We're going to fix your wagon. So now it's daytime. This place is uh, visible. Look at our pet. He's weaponized. And um, let's go back to this. I'm curious what he's going to hit for. On level 5, you're not afraid of anybody. You don't even have to nuke anybody. But it's good to throw in a nuke. Just keep your evocation up. Okay, fire beat. Check the experience of your pet. He's a guided missile. Look at that. Bam! Slice and dice. Whoa! Look at that. He's almost dead. Two, three hits. And ba bam Look, your pet hasn't taken any damage. Fire beetle eye. There's this guy. Target him. Press number one. See, I put it on number one. And you just sit here. And you can even do stuff like you can uh, just sit here and you can target things. Widow hatchling. We're going to vaporize you in just a moment. And this is all you do, and you get experience. You get widow, widow hatchling. Keep uh, these things, the bone chips, because bone chips, you can sell the necros, uh, sell this stuff. And look at that, we're moving up. Okay, let's go ahead. Thistle snake, you're dead. And our pet's not having any problem. And well, look at that, it's going to be dead before we can do anything. Get that skill up there. Okay, so uh, forget that, we're not going to have that. I want to go kill the poacher. And there's Kabul. Look at our pet. He's just a guided missile. Just send him anywhere and he destroys everything and anything in his path. Okay, here we go. Let's bring this in. Now let's try to do 50, more than 50% damage. And I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And um, try to do it. Okay, there. well the pet's just destroying him. So you can see it's still pretty good experience. Giant wood thorax. These are uh, things. Let's get this. Quest items, unless you're doing the quest, you don't need it. Kabold Runt, dead. <laughs> Look at that, is that crazy or what? Look at what he's hitting for, 10 and 12. It takes a monk to level eight to hit for that. So your, your monk without anything just doing hand to hand will be probably level eight, seven, eight before it hits that. But this guy's, you're getting this kind of damage in the beginning, it's easy streak. And since you can send a pet on anything, uh, you can have him go vaporize whatever. See, like this is a decayed skeleton. Oh, there's one. Okay, so this is what you want to see. Decayed skeleton with a weapon. And you want to get this. So always use the spell first. This way you get aggro because people are going to be trying to pick it off. And there goes our boy. And I like to get this, keep the skill coming up. And what do we have? We have Rusty Scimitar. So you go ahead and get that. You want to get the crack staff. So. Once again, look at how fast we're leveling. Of course, since we have bonus experience, you would probably be leveling one-tenth this fast. So you'll probably have uh, one-tenth experience by now. Let's send this guy out on a real mission. Mission impossible here. He's just a runt. Okay, what do we have? Skeleton. Okay, let's see. Watch this. He's level six. Now, this you may not be able to do. And the reason why is because you may not be able to land anything. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay, send a pet. Let's see. We hit him for four points. So let's see. Here's a pet. He's going on him. Now, see when this is happening right here? What you want to do... Uh oh, there's a poacher over there. Okay. Attack from this side here. I think he's going to ruin our pattern. It. He's going to mess with our... Okay, let's get him to take to taunt him. Let's get... See, you have no way to heal yourself, but look at the pet. Let's just quickly blast him. Okay, we got him. Okay, see, there we go. Let's get the uh, aggro from the... Let's uh, see if we can get it real quick. Come on. Hit us because we don't want the pet to die. Pet's going to die. There we go. Okay, so when the pet dies, try to cast another pet. Sometimes you can do it. Sometimes you can't. Okay, we can't get away from him. Try to go around a tree like this and try to run for it. And this is close. See, and Mr. Poacher just fixed our wagon. He ruined our, our our fantasy of killing the skeleton here. We have plenty of mana. If we can get some distance, use the trees. 
like this to go around the tree and then we're going to try to get go like this confuse the skeleton because he has to go the long way over it we go like this and like this let's get another pet up we can kind of outrun him if we make him lose the line of sight Come on, pet. Come on. Here he is. See how he's all the way? See what happened? He got stuck behind there. Okay, now we're back in action. Okay. Sending the pet on him. Let's go ahead and try to nuke this guy. Gonna be a close fight. Come on. We're not gonna have time for another pet. Let's see if we can get him down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The skeleton is level six. We just nailed a level six skeleton. And that's how you do it. That's one nice thing you can do out here. And the pet is still okay. So while he's okay, while we sit in med, we can go and have him kill some more stuff. This is what I like about the mage. Mage is just nice. You can do this. We want to weaponize the pet so he'll hit even harder. But you look at how crazy the pet is. And this is a fire pet right here. This does even more damage. But it's not going to hold up as as well as the... Um, the uh, not going to hold up as well as the, the as good as a fire pet. Let's quickly weaponize him and get this up here. And you can see the mage is a lot of fun. It's it's simple. This is pretty much all it is. You're sending your pet in. In later on in the game, when you get into difficult encounters, all you're going to be able to really do if you're getting trouble is hit gate. That's your only choice is just to gate out of there. But you can see there's such a powerhouse, and now you know why. Uh, people make mage armies because having a level 5 pet at level 2 is just really really nuts of course you don't have clarity or anything like that but look at that we're already to level 3 already and just chewing everything up so the one nice thing about Toxula is you can okay it's killing Mostek and then while we rest you can go ahead and outrun these guys by confusing them uh, but it isn't a great zone. It's one of the worst zones in my opinion because it's just out in the middle of nowhere and during the night it can be dark depending on who you are. So let's here send uh, him out there. We can just send him. Got to get a little closer like that. There we go. He's got to be within range. And you just sit back and just target stuff and kill it. Meanwhile, just gaining experience as you go. So, Mage is really cruising. I'm uh, going to go back here and sit here. This is where all the newbies are going to hang out there. As you can see, you got to watch out for those aggressive poachers out there. And uh, if you don't have to worry about them, yeah, you can start taking down level 6 skeletons. All right, so good luck out there on the Eridun or Rizlona server. Hope you enjoy your Mage and uh, have fun with it.